This is a Hunky Vape News Drop, giving you a single informative news article to keep you up to date on vaping news while respecting your time. Today's article, published in Manila Bulletin, titled Philippine Government Warns Against NGOs Banned by India, once again reveals a familiar philanthrocapitalist oligarch agenda marching along. Bloomberg! Yes, once again, Mr. Bloomberg is caught with his hand in the cookie jars of governments across the globe. This time, consumer groups are warning the Philippine government to check for counterfeit cash that has fallen from the Bloomberg oligarch agenda train. Instead of banning tobacco harm reduction products, the thing that needs banned is Bloomberg policy influence that always results in laws that are counter to the long-term public health of a nation. India banned more than 14,500 NGOs over the past four years. And no surprise, at least four of them reeked of Bloomberg tobacco control prohibition. It's time for Foreign Contribution Regulation Act to cut off this oligarchy from going against the country's national interests. Ain't nothing to it but to get into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bloomberg is at it again. He's getting his hands caught in all his NGOs that he's been donating money to. Well, here we are, published in the Manila Bulletin, Philippine government warned against NGOs banned by India. Cons consumer groups warned the Philippine government against non-government organizations, such as those linked to Bloomberg philanthropies that were banned by India for providing grants to lobby for local policies. They issued the statement after India banned more than 14,500 NGOs over the past five years, including four groups that received foreign grants from Bloomberg philanthropies of U.S. financial billionaire Michael Bloomberg, which are reportedly involved in tobacco control lobbying. India canceled the Foreign Contribution Regulation Act licenses of these NGOs for reportedly acting against India's national interests, misreporting donations, and lobbying against an established economic activity which raises multiple economic and social concerns. The Nicotine Consumers Union of the Philippines Incorporated, Philippine E-Cigarette Industry Association, and Vapor AKO, consumer and advocacy groups promoting tobacco harm reduction and a science-based approach to legislation, made the warning following the admission from the FDA that it received grants from the union and Bloomberg Initiative during a public hearing on vape and heated tobacco products on October 8th, 2020. The union and Bloomberg initiatives are promoting a prohibitive approach to tobacco control policies. The acceptance of the grants from these organizations raises questions on foreign interference with local policies and possible conflict of interest on the part of the FDA as they were tasked to craft regulations for electronic cigarettes and HTPs. NCUP President Anton Israel said that in India, NGOs are mandated to report and fully explain the use of foreign grants. It is important that authorities are informed properly about the purpose of foreign grants and how such funds are being used in the country to promote national interest. NGOs are supposed to be partners of the government in nation building and not as conduits of foreign organizations, Israel said. The FCRA aims to regulate the acceptance and utilization of foreign contribution 
or foreign hospitality by certain individuals or associations or companies and to prohibit acceptance and utilization of foreign contribution or foreign hospitality for any activities detrimental to the national interest and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Under India's law, an NGO or academic center needs to register with the Minister of Home Affairs to receive foreign funds wow. and submit an annual income and expenditure statement on foreign funding. <laughs> Between 2017 and 2018, authorities canceled the registration certificates of 1,808 NGOs because of non-submission of mandatory annual returns. Whoops. Under the FCRA, all NGOs and associations have to file annual returns on time with non-compliant NGOs issued notices and reminders online. Whoops. Those that failed to submit a report on foreign funding on time lost their recognition, tax exemptions, and registration. PECIA President Jui Dule also asked the Senate and the House of Representatives to pass a law similar to India's FCRA to protect the national interest. A law that regulates foreign contribution will stop the flow of questionable foreign grants particularly those that are dangled to government agencies and NGOs to influence national policies and regulations, Dooley said. Oh, Jesus. Joaquin Calardo, spokesman of Vapor AKO, highlighted the case of the Philippines FDA, which admitted receiving funds from Bloomberg Foundations, Whoops. which are known to oppose tobacco harm reduction policies. The Bloomberg Foundations have different channels in the Philippines that promote prohibitionist policies that put at a disadvantage Filipino smokers who want to try less harmful smoke-free alternatives or non-combustible nicotine products, he said. Wow. Gallardo said recipients of funds from Bloomberg and other foreign organizations should fully explain how they use the money to remove the suspicion that they are trying to interfere with government policies. He added that the acceptance of grants by the FDA from Bloomberg Foundations was a serious breach of natural national interests because the FDA at that time was supposed to issue the implementing guidelines for the implementation of Republic Act number 11467 and Executive Order number 106, which allow but regulate the sale, distribution, and taxation of vapor and HTPs in the Philippines, Whoops. which are considered better alternatives to conventional cigarettes. Whoops. These are laws passed by Congress and signed by the president that a foreign lobby group tries to diminish by influencing the FDA and crafting the implementation guidelines. No wonder the FDA issued an initial draft that looks like it wanted to ban e-cigarettes and HTPs altogether, said Gallardo. It is an example of a foreign grant from an organization that tries to influence the decision of the FDA against vaping, which has helped thousands of Filipino smokers quit, Gallardo said. Wow. The union, which has co-managed the Bloomberg Initiative to reduce tobacco use grants program, confirmed on its website that it has been working with the DOH since July 2010. Wow. to develop and promote legislation and policies that comply with the Philippines' commitments under the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, including Article 6 on implementing tax and price measures to reduce the demand for tobacco. In December 2020, Deputy House Speaker Diogracias Victor Sovalano, representing ICOSUR's 1st District in Nueva Whoops. You see, uh, first district represent Estrelita Swansing filed a resolution directing the House Committee on Good Government 
and public accountability to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the alleged questionable receipt of private funding by the FDA in exchange for the issuance of specific and predefined policies against a legitimate industry under Philippine laws. Wow. Gallardo said the legislative inquiry is a perfect opportunity for the House of Representatives to also discuss possible legislation that requires all NGOs to submit annual reports on the receipt and utilization of foreign grants to make sure that these funds will not be used against the national interest. Once again, Bloomberg is out there funding all these NGOs and purposely trying to eliminate tobacco harm reduction wow. and replace it with a prohibitionist agenda wow. that just flat outright forces people to either quit smoking or die mm. with the consequences resulting from smoking. Get fucked. The demagoguery continues. Oh, Jesus. And Bloomberg will continue to spend his money oh! until somebody tells him he's no longer able to. How about new? Well, that's it for today. Oh. Philippine government. They're the next target. Get fucked. And the targets continue. There'll be another report shortly. I quite honestly feel there's just... This is going on all around us, and they're just now starting to catch on to it. Game over, yeah! Bloomberg Philanthropies. There's a reason he keeps showing up in the news. Get fucked. All right, that's it from me. Have a great day.